Today for math, we are going to do this worksheet. So let's take a look at this chart. Let me explain what this chart is and what it means. So this is a money chart, actually a coin chart. And you have four coins in American money, right? You have quarter, dime, nickel, penny. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Remember the song? That means that you're going to take a handful of coins, doesn't matter what coins they are, they have to be random, that means you cannot choose only quarters, you cannot choose only dimes, nickels, or pennies. So as you know guys, this is my coin container inside. I only have pennies, nickels, and dimes, I don't have quarters, my quarters are somewhere else. So I'm going to go get a handful of quarters, I'll be right back. So, let's start. Yeah, okay. Big handful. That's probably a lot. That's okay. My hand is bigger than yours. That's why I have a lot of coins. So, let me pretend I have... A si my hand is the size of your hand. So, you probably grab... This much. So I'm gonna start. Let's see how many coins, how many pennies, how many nickels I got. Okay, so you can do this a couple ways. You can count each coin one at a time, or you can separate them into groups. What I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is separate all the coins into different groups. So take a look at your coins. They're separated by group. They're separated by the value, okay, by the type of coin. Now let's look at your paper. Start graphing. So for every coin that you have, you're going to use one box. So since I don't have any quarters, I cannot put anything here. I cannot color the boxes. How many dimes do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six dimes. What does that mean? It means that I have to color six boxes. For my dime, I'm going to use red. Make sure you're coming nicely, okay? Make sure you fill the square up. Oh, this is not red. This is violet red. Purple and red. Okay. Okay, so let's stop here. I'm grabbing this. I'm coloring the box. Not six dimes. Okay, make sure you're coloring. It's nice and neat. Try not to go outside the lines. Try to make every space that color. Okay. So, since I don't have any quarters, I cannot color that section. Nickels! Three nickels! So for nickels, I'm gonna use... Let's use this. Green. Yellow green. Three nickels. One, two, one. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. Whoa! Hey guys, I just realized I did not color six boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. You have to pass the number. Okay, six boxes for dimes. Three, four nickels. Pennies. Hmm, that's gonna be tricky. So I have a lot of pennies. I have more than eight pennies. In that case, you're just gonna color up to eight. And they were like So blue, green. Remember, I have more than eight pennies, and that's fine. Let's color the graph. Let's color this section all the way to eight. Sorry guys, there's a bunch of kids outside neighbors from the other building who are making lots of noise. You can probably hear them giggling and laughing. They're having fun. Alright, so color it. Now my coloring is not that neat. It's because my writing surface is strange. It's not letting me color everything. There's a lot of white space. Okay, that's so sad, I don't have any quarters. That's okay, that can happen to you too. Alright, so let's see. How many quarters do I have, guys? Zero. Dimes? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nickels? One, two, three. Pennies? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I have more than eight, so let's count all of them. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ooh, ooh, out of breath. Twenty-one, twenty-two, thirty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-nine. So even though you put here eight, you colored eight boxes. We have to write here twenty-nine. Which coin do you have the most of? So out of all these four coins, which ones do we have the most? 
Pennies. So we have to write pennies. Make sure you don't write too big or it's not gonna fit. Least. Which one do we have? Which coin do we have the least? That means which one is less? In this case, it's gonna be quarters. Because we have zero quarters. Oh, guys. I forgot my name. Mr. Rodriguez. I also forgot the date. Why don't you go ahead and write the date here? May 5th, 2015. I hope you enjoyed my math activity. I hope that you had fun and you learned something. See you later, alligator.